Grind TV, baby. Five tool. Oh, five tool TV, sorry. Come on, bro. Get with the times. Left side. Peyton getting whipped back into shape. Yep. <sighs> ah, come on. Don't think about it. Talk to Joe. It helps. Ten seconds left. <sighs> What's that property of Hawaii Athletics? Yep. <laughs> there you go. Switch. <sighs> Top velocity. Doesn't play around. Right. Look up into them clouds, man. He's facing the other way. <laughs> Ten seconds. Morgan, I got. I hear you. Where's your buddy? He left. Went home? Yeah. Fast. She's gotta take care of uh, her girlfriend. Yeah, he was telling me I didn't know it was gonna be that quick. Yeah. It makes sense though, wait, she's like six months pregnant, so. Yeah. About that time. He'll probably come back. He said it's like, the biggest thing is not the girl right now, it's like the seven hour drive. It's like, okay. The distance. I'm going there, like take care of uh, a couple of days or whatever. Um, and then come back, that's the tough part. Seven or eight hours driving is not. Yeah, it's far, man. I hear you. Those elbows up. Hey, reset when you catch it. When you catch it, if you catch it low, just pop it up and just start getting used to getting it there. All right. Thank you. Yeah. How you doing, Chad? I'm doing fine. Doing fine? How are you doing? I was watching your flat ground. Yeah. It looked good. I just need more power. I mean, that's everybody. Yeah. Look good, dude. Thanks, man. Sequencing it, moving fast. It'll come. Yeah. 90? Be nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming, dude. It's coming. I got another lot of my high school's doing an alumni game this weekend. I'm going home. Oh, you're going to try to go Chevy, huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, our school's not good, so I'll do well, but, you know, again, like, game-wise. I had my dad gun me and see where we're at. Couple of innings, six punchies. You know, the huge. Do what you can. <laughs> do what you can. You know, no hitter, perfect game, whatever. And just a alumni game for fun. Dang, you're gonna go. You're gonna go all. Well, they, it's high school. They're gonna play what seven innings. You're gonna go all seven. <laughs> yeah, you know, if I have to. The old like forty-eight year old dude that's like hasn't pitched in years. He's not even getting gonna get an inning, dude. Gonna be selfish. <laughs> no, I couldn't do that. If they wanted me to. Maybe. 
<laughs> I like it. Boom, 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 boom. Doubt and I can provide 3K in three weeks? That's nothing. So I was just like, no, that's when I decided to go to India. We both decided yeah. to go to this India. Guy, man. Big big dog, man. He's got the real stones, man. He's a, he's a real gambler. <laughs> Bro, it was crazy, man. That whole story. Like it, the whole the whole thing is nuts, dude. Like the dream that I had, bro, I, I didn't share it with him for like four or five days. And then I was like, okay. I, for some whatever reason, I just felt like I was supposed to share it. I like tell him, dude, a minute later, he opens a book on dream language, bro. Uh, I got delivered a book, dream language. That was gonna be my book. That's my, one of the two books I'm reading for February. And it just came in the mail that evening when he, and I like, I remember as soon as he said dreams, I'm like, ah, that means my book came, like I'm gonna go, my book came in today. I'm gonna go get it out of the mailbox. And then he like, they had a reference for like symbolism and stuff like that in the back of the book and then like he kind of deciphered uh meaning from his dream wow. so yes yeah, that was a big time so we're going to india yeah the lord's just doing basically stuff, joe's getting trucks left and right dude <laughs> right, right. Well, i don't know what's going on but i'll get a lottery ticket for real <laughs> Chad, you're a monster. <laughs> Freaking animal, dude. Oh yeah, there we go. Don't hide it. If you got it, flaunt it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch you on those next reps. Got me choking up on the stories, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> so. Give me the truck story, dude. <laughs> I can't. I gotta tell it again. Man. Yeah, and I want tears. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta save it for another day, man. I, I, it's too much, man. Mm. I'll, we'll say it uh, another day. Okay, but just tell, just tell what happened. Jesus bought me a truck, man, yesterday out of left field. So. I, oh man. <laughs> It was pretty balling. Yeah. We're stoked about it. <laughs> Not now, huh? <laughs> Not now. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, lift some weights. It shouldn't take me more than an hour, and then I'm ready. I'm bringing the camera. You come with me? Yeah. <laughs> you come with me. We'll put it on there. That's, that's that'll be some good content. That's what I'm saying. It's not every day. Yeah, it's five. It's five tool, but then it's. Uh, <laughs> Bro, it's, it's not every day people get gifted a, a brand new truck. You're a beast, bro. What do I do with my hands? This is a really good race today. Not every day the Lord just provides somebody a truck, dude. No. 
and I want to be the first ride in it. <laughs> Amen, bro. told me it's 700 yeah, 700 a week fifteen hundred dollars in one week off uber fifteen hundo like two hundred two hundred two hundred he told me he his goal was seven hundred a week and yeah that's more than double if he's going fifteen hundo a week there's no way off uber he said two hundred he's like i'll stop at two hundred i'm like two hundred bro we're not in like new orleans where you guys are going out for happy hour on Monday night. Well, I mean, if the drive takes him over there, he can then, you know. You go to Baton Rouge, uh, right. And it's 60 bucks. Yeah, like. To make okay, now I think he's lying, bro, because he told me for the Baton Rouge trip, it was like, yeah, well, he's going off different well, amounts yeah. now. Now he's telling, well, now he's lying okay. to you. You made 87 minus 10, for, 10, 15 for the gas. Yeah. No, he said 9 for the gas. Gas is that cheap for me. I don't know by the gallon, but I don't know where he's getting a quarter of a tank. Bro, I'm telling you, dude, he's manipulating his balance sheet, bro. He's trying to get that IPO all juiced up. It's a zero sum game, yeah. bro. That's income and expenses. I don't know what. He I'm wanted not. me to invest in like a handheld vacuum for his car for a certain percentage. I was like, oh, man. I'm just kidding. I made that part up. <laughs> You're so proud of yourself. <laughs> Just a big old smile. Man, I wish I could. I guess I could wear that jacket. I don't want to shower. It's cute. We gotta run back to the house for a little bit. All right. Thanks. Thanks. That was sketchy. It was sketchy. Sketchy form. Hey man, it's been starting. Here. Should have dropped that right on the ground. Never quit. No, no, no. Huh? No, no, no. Definitely quit. Never quit on the rip. <laughs> Give me a minute to rest, man. Hey, not today, bro. Not today. Have you all seen that video that guy power cleaning? And he was like, like, like he's like fighting it for like 10, 15 seconds and he finally gets it over. His knees are like this. So sketch. Like, it's like, dude, drop it, man. Just drop the weight. It's game over, man. It's not worth it. He got it, though. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he took my music away, so. Bro, anytime I see it where somebody catches it, even with sketchy form, it's like I almost don't even count the rep. Like, I'm just like, cool, you caught it, but you look like freaking Bambi, like just born, dude. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, like the legs are like way out. You're just like, goodness gracious. You get more bar height. It's because you're not getting the bar high enough, and then you're not, when you're trying to get under it, and you're just shooting your legs out because you're quicker at doing that than going into a tuck. 
Why can't I do that when I'm... Do it. You're not doing that. You're cowboying, bro. Yeah, you... why can't I do that? Because you're faster to shoot out? Whatever. Like I just told you? Whatever. How do I fix it then? Get faster uh, by getting under the bar and getting more bar height? Explode quicker. If you get more bar height, you don't need to cowboy. There you go. Better. Still, still kind of a sketchy form. catch, yeah, but uh, it wasn't as it, that form actually wasn't as bad as your miss. It was not like your feet weren't good, but ten pound PR. Though. Ten pound PR. Sketchy form, so I kind of think you're, you know, a dweeb. But I'm sorry, I haven't been doing this for years, like you say. Hey, you know, we all can't be first round draft picks, all right? <laughs> <laughs> what about second round draft? Pick? I always say that to girls. It's just the meanest thing. <laughs> hey, we all can't be first round draft picks. Just for you, I'm gonna go. Bro, what is this weight organization? Oh my bad. No. Come on, dude. So you had me all messed up. Don't blame that on me. I am gonna blame it on you. Anybody knows that. And just for you, I'm gonna go five pounds heavier. Yeah, 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 whatever you say, bro. With that form, I wouldn't. Hey! Form get better at repetition. Not when your repetition is bad form. Hey, man. <laughs> You're not gonna beat me on this, bro. But imagine what I could do with good form. You'd be like Chad. Chad's amazing, okay? Don't compare me to Chad. Oh, jeez, not you too. <laughs> How did this happen? Chad, you set the standard for excellence. Oh, You're the tippity top of the iceberg. I mean, everybody wants a 600 power clean. Everybody. 900 back squat, 700 bench press. Yeah, oh, rascals. 95 mile per hour fastball with sink. <laughs> <laughs> that would be terrible. From the left side. Always listen to Chad. Rule number one. Always listen to chat. I wasn't looking, I was I was filming. Separate you're not holding your separation. What do you mean? Like you're not you're not delaying the trunk. Your hips and your shoulders are going together. So try to hold the so power and hold and like pull that arm back like it's like a rubber band. Yeah. That hip is like the front of the rubber band, your arm is the, the back of the rubber band, pulling apart. There you go. Yeah, tuck there. There it is. There it is. Nice, bro. Stop. I felt the separation better on that one. That was good, man. Good adjustment. Hey, guys, I appreciate it. Hey. See you, You're a good listener, all right? That's what we like about you. I love you, Steve. <laughs> I got the separation I felt like with no drive. Yeah. Just gotta time it up there. Not just that wild with it. Right there. And look, I'm gonna make a copy of this with my phone, the front and the back of this title when we get it all executed. So and I'll print it out so you'll have a copy of it. So you'll have a record that you've got rid of it. Okay? That way nothing will come back on you.
you can report it to the DMV whenever you need to that you know you, you will have proof that you sold the vehicle or got rid of the vehicle so you Joe you saw um, above your name okay when do you think he might be changing it over so he's, I, I'm tag thinking and, he should be able to go do it tomorrow huh maybe yeah okay and then um, I need to get you to witness. I want to get you to witness it, and I'll get Robbie to witness. <laughs> I was hoping I got to sign something. So look, just sign right here, and print your name underneath it. I don't know why my hand's shaking. <laughs> <laughs> look, print your name right oh, underneath it, because I cannot okay. read that. That's, no, that's not. That's not English. <laughs> I've got a little. You right couldn't there. read that name anywhere. <laughs> I got one more spot too. So this is the title, so sign it above your name right there. Yeah, I was just looking in here. Yeah. Those two crisis reports tonight on Fox 8 News at 10. Authorities say And then sign above your name right there. Right. Unlock the door. It won't start the ignition. Okay. And the keys. There's a key in there. Yeah, the keys are in that ashtray. Okay. That's and these th these two together, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right. We're gonna walk out there. We get that tag. Yeah, I didn't know. I thought maybe Robbie or somebody you would have called. I left the key in it. I said we'll just take the truck and we'd, mm. I'd run up there yeah. later. Mm -hmm. So this is what, I got a copy of this, I can print it for him. So this is what you bring to the DMV, but you have got have to have proof of insurance too. So you're gonna transfer your license into your name and you gotta have proof of insurance in this to get the get it transferred. You said it was $70 to get your license transferred into your name? Uh, you don't have to huh? do that. I'm doing it, I'm doing <laughs> it. It's $70, so here's $300, $70. To get, it's probably only gonna cost you about $100 to get it put in your name. Okay. And there's another $100 to go towards your insurance, at least cover you to get it. I don't know how much it's gonna cost for your insurance, but okay. All right, thank if you. that's not enough, let me know. No, that's more than enough. Thank you so much, that's uh, unbelievable. <laughs> but this is proof of, this is what you gotta bring into the DMV tomorrow though. Okay. So much. I'd like to pray over the vehicle actually and uh, yeah. pray with you. Alright. That's alright. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Alright. Yeah. All right. yeah, I just want to pray real quick Enjoy. over the vehicle. Right. You Lord, I just uh There's Bruce pulling in. I said, Bruce, is that your truck for sale? He's like, Nope, that's Everett's. Yeah, uh, yeah, because uh, I went to church and when I came back by I thought I'd left the door unlocked. And I was going to come back and lock. And I looked on and I said, there ain't no phone number on there. <laughs> so I came home. See, I was that's gonna... another thing. Nobody could even buy it if they wanted to because there was no <laughs> phone number for it to call whoever it was. Wow. <laughs> that Amen. Looked out for you, huh? It's yeah. just meant to be. That's yeah. right. It was meant to be. I do yeah. believe. So, How long have you had it right there, Lee It's the first day I noticed it was today. Saturday. Yep. So, oh, you just put it there put Saturday. It Saturday. Right there. I had it here in the front yard. Put it there Saturday. You had it in the front yard for sale. There's another story. I had it in story. the front yard for about two weeks. My grandson was thinking about doing it, but he's got a new car. Mm -hmm. And uh, he couldn't handle it in a car, too. And yeah. his wife's got a car they're paying for. And both of them at LSU, so mm -hmm. it was a little tight. Mm -hmm. right. Be careful. Take it easy. I will. <laughs> <laughs> and call me tomorrow if you need help with any of that, okay? All right, I will. All right. Thanks, Thanks guys. See you later. Bye. Bye. Let's meet you. Bye. That's a clean start, man. Bro, you got a new truck, bro. It's insane, man. How do you feel? We got our Western uh, country from Everett here. <laughs> Was it Alan Jackson? I might just have to saber this up a little bit, you know? I hear you. What do you say about the lights? Gotta turn on the first one, I guess. Dude, this is 
amazing. Jesus just provides, man. I mean, Dana and Robbie, I couldn't thank them enough for their just radical faith and I've got 40 seconds hearts, man. So. before this video ends. What do you want me to talk about? Whatever's on your heart. Yeah. I don't even know what to say, man. I'm in shock. I mean, I'm just like, it's amazing how like faithful the Lord is. So um, he answers prayers. I mean, I'll, the only thing I had prayer on my heart for uh, transportation was to go and see my mother who was in um, rehab for depression and she's in Tennessee. And I was just praying that the Lord would give me reliable transportation to go and visit her um, in March when she has like visitation. Yeah, and uh, I was honestly praying that one of my friends would just, you know, be willing to come with me. Uh, it looks like God had a different idea in mind to provide a vehicle, so. Uh, we weren't going to make it in the death mobile, bro. Nah. I mean, the Holy Spirit was taking it. I think it, the Holy Spirit wanted a break from uh, keeping that thing going. So, oh, we go left, I guess. Go this way. Dude, this thing rides smooth, man. This is a beautiful truck, man. <sighs> Dude, I can't believe this is my truck. Dude. Yeah, this is literally insane. Dude, this is... You knock on the door, man, and he hears our prayers and... I just can't glorify God enough. Him. 